Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to be going over some issues with subversion. There's um, quite a lot of information out on the internet, so I'm not going to go over everything, but I will go over some of the things that I've encountered that I hope will be helpful in helping you get up to speed with subversion. There are two ways of working with subversion in JDeveloper. You can create local file or local repository basically within the JDeveloper without even having to install Subversion. And you can also install Subversion, although I have encountered a, a bug that I will uh, explain when I actually do that video. Now let's go over some of the information that's available on the internet because you should really be reviewing that before you actually go in and um, work with Subversion because there's a lot of considerations. This uh, publication here is working with an external subversion that you install. Part one goes over that. And there's a lot of different things to consider um, with larger groups especially. With smaller groups you can definitely get by more with more or less with subversion. But when you start working in a larger group, you really need to have a lot more control and management over file systems and, and what people have access to. This, excuse me, that series right here by Chris Muir goes over um, working with the internal uh, local file system repository that you can create within JDeveloper and um, how to do that. And then there's also an ADF uh, Insider video going over some considerations for team development here. So these are all very useful uh, pieces of information. You may other, find other YouTube videos about it.